I have a document open here called metalmug.jpg, which you can find from the info folder. Now, the aim of this exercise is to take some branded content, place it into this file, and make the artwork look as though it's actually printed onto that mug. So we're going to warp the artwork and then use a blending mode to achieve this. With that in mind, I'll go to the file menu and choose place linked. From the info folder, I'll open up the file called muglogo.psd and click on place. We need to make this a lot bigger. So uh, make sure that the uh, width and height in here are linked together as they should be by default and just increase this to 280%. Now, the original artwork for this is made of vectors. So by increasing it to 280%, I'm not losing any quality. I'm not going to pixelate it because it's not made from pixels. It's made from vector artwork. And then from there, I just hover over the, the, the frame and just move that a little bit closer to the center. And then I can click on the tick at the top in there, like so. Again, you'll notice that that now is a linked smart object. If I want to just sort of curve this a little bit, because now clearly in here, the mug curves around this region in here, and there's kind of a, it's kind of a sort of a fisheye lens effect where the center in here is bloated. And as it goes to the sides, it does taper out. We need to scale the center a little bit more in here. We do that with a warp. I'll go to edit and I'll go down to transform and then choose warp. So this will place a very basic warp mesh around the outside. Now you can create a custom mesh and you can split it into uh, three by three, five by five grids. But to be honest, you can just go to the warp uh, menu in here and choose a preset. Uh, in this case, arch is, is a good one to use. It will always give you something that uh, way too much. But if I go to the bend in here, if you hover your cursor over the actual word bend for the value in there, it's a scrubby slider. So you can hover your cursor over there and click and hold down left mouse button and then just drag. I can just make sure that looks a little bit more like it's bending around that mug in there. It's a subtle effect, but it can really help. Once I'm happy with it, I can go to the top and I can click on the tick in there. Now it won't tell you that it's had a warp applied to it. It's a frustrating thing about this, but you can always go back to edit, transform, and then choose warp and all the same options will be added inside of there for you. If you feel like you need to just bend the bottom bit down again in there, well, you can do. You can click on your mesh, split it down the middle, like so. Hover over, click on here, click on the bottom point, and you can just pull that down a touch as well and drag the little handles down just to curve that down a little bit more. So these control the curvature. And if you felt you needed to, you could always do that. Um, but then done, click on the tick. Final thing then, go to the blend mode menu and change that to color burn. And you'll notice that it picks up the brightness of the mug on the left hand side and how dark it is on the right hand side, making that look a lot more convincing. So a little bit of a warp, subtle, but it does help. And then changing the blend mode can make all the difference. I'll go to file, choose save as, and save this as a PSD into the working folder.